you're new to our channel, I'm JC and I'm Casey and today we are going to DIY men's clothes. This should be super interesting. We have done a couple of these videos in the past. If you guys want to check them out, we will link them up here and today we are going to be working with men's shorts, shirts and I'm kind of scared. I don't know what I'm going to make. I know these look very interesting. <laughs> There's a button up also. Yes. This is also kind of a twin telepathy challenge because we have the same stuff. Same exact clothes. And we don't know if the other person's gonna make the same thing. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, we could end up making the same I know. stuff. We have very similar styles, so I wouldn't be surprised. The first thing we're gonna start with is a basic men's t-shirt. I think this should be really interesting to see what we make. I think it's also easy to start with this. I guess so, yes. It's huge though, so. It is. After that, we're gonna try and make something out of these shorts. Um, what? You're kidding. I literally have no clue how we're gonna make these cute. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna make these like fit me. Like what? And lastly, we have a button down shirt. I'm sad to ruin it, but. I know, this is kinda cute. I would wear it. A <laughs> button down dress. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what to do yet. I'll figure it out. You too. So we're gonna start with the basic shirts, go in our rooms, and then reveal what we've made to each other. So let's, let's get, get started. <laughs> Here's the first shirt I'm gonna be working with, and I definitely want to make this something super creative so that you guys like it, and it's something that I might be able to wear again. And I saw a shirt on Romway once that I really liked, so I'm gonna try and replicate that. And basically, I'm just gonna make it into a one shoulder top, and then I'll like have another string and it'll tie on the side. You guys will see it once it's done, but I have an idea in my head and I need to try and follow that. Hey guys, I'm here in my room. I am with the first shirt. I laid it out in front of me and I am ready to cut it. So basically, what I'm gonna do is try and make it into a tank top. Hopefully this looks okay. Like this shirt has weird stitching at the top. Like how am I supposed to fix that? I can't. So it's gonna look a little weird as a tank top. The first thing I need to do is cut out the shape of the top I want. The scariest part of doing this on my bed is I don't wanna cut like my cover, like my comforter here. I'm gonna trace around this one top that I have. I think this might work out a lot better than like just freehanding it. So I'm gonna trace around this top and cut out the shape first. I'm just gonna cut the tank top now. I think I just cut the collar off first. I am cutting the shirt now. Oh, that is a huge neck. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a, an interesting tank top. Okay, time to get the arms. Oh, here's the remains of the shirt. <laughs> Kinda can see the shape I'm going for now. I feel like this is the hardest one we've done so far. Trying to DIY clothes. I think this is definitely the hardest because men's clothes are like a lot bigger than women's and they're not gonna fit me and I'm trying to make them fit me over here and that's a lot of work. I'm just telling you guys now like it's so much easier when you have a picture to follow. Just saying. What is this? This is not a tank top. Definitely not what I would wear. <laughs> the side, like this here, that's such a huge arm. I'll just hot glue it, I guess. <laughs> oh my, I'm so excited for you guys to see this shirt when it's done. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, here's what it looks like right now. We have like the off the shoulder and then the strings are just hanging. So basically what I did here was I just cut it a little bit longer than it needed to be and then I made a little slit down the side. Now I have these that can just tie here. You guys will have to see when it's done for it to like look good but I saw this everywhere and I thought this was so cute. I can't wait to see if it works. Oh, I, should I try being it? Like let's try that. Let's like go out on a limb here and try to like give it a little V. This is the shape. This used to be a men's shirt. Doesn't look like one anymore. That's what it looks like. But that's fine. You know what? We're gonna leave this. That's the tank top. But now I'm going to uh, do the tie in the back somehow. Now I'm going to go and glue the side down here because obviously it's open. And then I also have to glue the top pieces together so that it'll fit. But after that, I think I'm done. Like this is kind of like a no sew shirt. Kind of simple. That's the back, that's the front, 
and oh my gosh that's gonna be so cropped maybe i'll just like work out in this shirt it honestly looks like a workout shirt i'll show you guys what it looks like after i glue it i finished it i was gonna super glue the sides but i'm not sure if i really need to glue gun it because i feel like it fit fine because it has ties so it'll make it tighter so i just need to go try it on now it's all finished and now i'm just gonna try it on and show you guys what i got i'm so excited to try this on i hope it works oh i had it inside off this whole time i forgot to turn it back to normal sorry but here we go this is what it looks like normally so i'm gonna go try this one shoulder top on hey so i have it on now oh goodness let me just show you this is the shirt i was gonna tie it in the back like i said i was but um I, this is the only way it looked good but guys this isn't that bad right <laughs> looks like i'm going and i'm ready for to like work out or something I think this is fine. When I first put this on, I'm not gonna lie, I was so mad. I was like, this looks disgusting. Um, but because the way I was trying to wear it, but I guess this is a little better. Here is the top I just made. Wow, how cute. I thought it would be a lot more cropped, not even gonna lie, so that the tie would be up more, but now I just have to wear low waisted stuff with this, which I don't typically wear. So that's interesting, but this used to be a men's t-shirt, so I think I did an okay job with it, not gonna lie. Also, these straps should be thicker, but since it's just like stretchy fabric, it keeps rolling. Oh well, so here it is. Now that I have mine finished, Casey also has finished hers, so I'm gonna get to react to hers now. So Casey, come in. like a cute like workout top that's what i said it's like a workout shirt now uh, we look here twinning but in a different way kind of guys i don't even know why we do this video like i feel like she just wins and, like i'm over here like struggling no it's so funny so we definitely did not have twin telepathy on this one but we both kind of wanted to make like summer tops so that's cool it, yeah kind of mine does not work out i literally look so dumb <laughs> This time, we are making something out of these shorts. So first things first, I am going to tell you guys right now, I don't like the outside fabric of these shorts. I was thinking about, you know, like cutting this band off, using it as like the bottom part, and then making some kind of shirt out of the top. And I just was like, no, that's not a good idea. So I'm thinking I might just take off this whole like string because I really like the string they used and i could make straps out of that so i'm taking out the string if i'm able to oh my gosh it's like stuck i don't think i can take out the string they like sewed it in here i might as well just use the inside black part of the shorts because they're not that bad not even gonna lie and i've seen this on the internet a lot like where you take like men's underwear or something and then you cut out a part and it becomes a sports bra something like that but I feel like that's not gonna work out either. So I need to figure something out really fast. The next thing that I have to um, somehow make something for me to wear out of are these shorts. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be the hardest one yet. How am I supposed to make like a shirt? Like I was thinking like maybe I could make like a tube top out of the material, like, and then have like a string at the bottom of the tube top. I don't know what to do guys. I'm gonna have to like really think hard about this. Like there's like an inner liner too. I mean, I could use that, but like, why not use this? Cause this kind of looks cool. This is gonna be so hard. I really wanted to try making these into something cute. First thing I'm gonna do, cut the inner liner out and see if I can work with that. If not, then I'm gonna try and figure something else out. I'm just gonna try, I'm gonna try. And if whatever I'm doing right now doesn't work out, we're gonna use the block inside, okay? That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I literally just took these out. Like I just got this straight out of the top. Somehow this needs to turn into a tube top. So I'm gonna figure that one out. Tube top. Wait, 
Could I do that? I think I could. I think I could somehow pull it off, yeah. This could be a tube top now. That's like my happy part of this part. The problem I'm having is like, it's shaped into shorts, so it's like a little bent all around. Like it's like weird, like this isn't, like see the opening there? It shouldn't be there. So I'm trying to figure out like, do I cut it to that height? Do I cut this all off? I'm struggling. So this is what I'm going for. That might not be so bad, but I have to glue gun the top because that's too wide for me. And I'm gonna cut the sides so they're thinner. I'll probably like tuck them in and so it'll fit me. So let me glue gun this and I'll be right back. I just wanted to give you guys an update. So here's the piece of fabric I have for the tube top. I'm going to glue the two sides together to make it the actual like tube top part. And then I got the strings out of the like loop, the pant loop, whatever it's called, the waistband. And I'm going to make them into like these really pretty straps. So I'm really excited to see if it works out. I want it to be cute, but clearly it's not gonna be too cute. I don't know. I think it could be, it has potential. I'm gonna glue all this together and show you guys how it turns out. So the last thing that I said I was going to do was glue gun it and wow, I finished the whole thing. So this is what it looks like. <sighs> this is my tube top. <laughs> it does not fit me. It's really big. Even though I cut the sides, see I like, glue gun them but the tie at the bottom really helps it make it fit a lot better but it's not that bad it's way better than my other one that I did like isn't it kind of cute like just a little bit <laughs> so this is what I did I mean I tried I'm back and I have my tank top that I made out of men's shorts so I'm gonna just say it right now I'm a little bit proud of this because I wasn't expecting it to turn out this cool. Like I kind of like how it turned out, but I still haven't tried it on, so I don't know if I'm gonna like how it looks when it's on. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. Not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best things I've made because I really went outside the box. Here's the shirt. I have never been really proud of something. Like I think this is actually so cool that I made this shirt out of these shorts. Like this came from this, what? This is so weird. But here it is, um, interesting. Uh, I definitely think these straps fit me like a little too loose, but it's just cause they're the like shoelace type of thing. Like they don't stretch. So I really like it. It's a basic plain black tank top. I'm excited to see what Casey did with hers. And maybe we had twin telepathy and she also took out the inside of the shirt. Who knows? We'll have to see. Casey, come right out, I wanna see yours. Wow, she really did that. Tube top. That's so cool. Why? It looks a little weird on the sides and it doesn't really fit me that good, no, but it's cute. Do you like my tank top? Wait, what? Is that even the same thing that I worked with? Water? <laughs> I know. It did you from... cut out the, the inside? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. Oh, and the string. That's so cute. Yeah, the string is there for you and it's here for me. Guys, we did such different things. Oh we my goodness. Did. So basically, we don't have twin telepathy at all. Like, that's <laughs> Not weird. really. Not in this video. It's so funny. But here's what we made. I definitely would wear this again, which is surprising. Like, it's just like a cute like tank top. I feel like this tube top kind of goes well with the leggings because it has the same color in it. It does. It's cute. Maybe I'd wear it for like a picture. Yeah, it is cute. So here they are. Here is the last shirt we are working with today. It is a button down and I have seen so many tutorials on Instagram about button downs and how you can just, you know, like make them into front tie shirts make them into shirts and skirts and all of this. So for me today, I think I'm gonna try and copy like a Brandy Melville design where it's like the top is this button down and then the bottom is the same type of fabric but a skirt. I don't know if it'll work. I'm kind of scared to see if it will, but I won't even need a zipper because it is a button down so I could just button it to me, which is cool. So I need to cut it into a top. I'm gonna cut under the pocket in the front. I'm so proud of my last one, let me just say, but let's hope I can make this last shirt that I have to make something out of good. Basically what I did to the first shirt, I was gonna do it to this shirt because 
The first shirt I was kind of tight in the back, but this one I'm tying it in the front and it's kind of going to be like the first shirt, but hopefully it turns out better. Sorry that was kind of confusing, but I just wanted to clarify that, that I'm not trying to make the same shirt. It's just like I had that plan for this shirt before. There we go. Here's my little crop top we have going on here. I'm going to make it into like a little um tank top i think looks like a biker shirt but that's my top and now i just need to make a skirt to go with that i'm just going to cut the back and the sides like the back off what i basically did for the first one too here is the skirt <laughs> i need to make sure it'll fit me i have to go glue everything so here's the top i'm just going to glue the two sides down where it's open and then the skirt is also cut open on this side so i need to glue that down but after that, I think I'm done. So let's see if this works. Okay, let's try this on. Oh my goodness, this looks very interesting. This is what it looks like. I'm a little embarrassed of this one. Not even gonna lie here. This has to be the worst one I've made so far. <laughs> so here's the top, I finished gluing it. It's not too bad, but the skirt is something else. I, I mean like there's no waistband. It's just gonna be sitting on my waist. I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna try it on right now. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a brandy shirt a little bit with like the halter top up here. This is just the shirt on, like in the front, tied. Kind of cute. I like this shirt. Just the arms are very long. I feel like I would change that about this shirt. And it's like going up. This has to be the absolute worst thing I have made yet. Just so that you guys could see the full outfit, I don't know if you could see the side of the part that was like cut out, but here's this top. <laughs> it's so weird. And then here's the skirt that literally is really small and doesn't fit. So, kind of getting Outer Banks vibes from this, not gonna lie. Now that I have mine on, I'm gonna call Casey in. Casey, come see my outfit. <laughs> Ew, I look so bad in this. <laughs> What are you wearing? Um, so this was supposed to be a top that closed, but it couldn't really close. <laughs> I made it too small, and then the skirt is really small and tight and, and loose at the top. You look like Indiana Jones or something. Like, I don't know, that kind of outfit. I feel like we're from Outer Banks with these types of outfits. This is Yours is like baggy. Like, I wish I made something more baggy, because literally all my clothes are except the second one. Oh, that's cute. Here are the outfits. Here are the last ones. We had so much fun transforming men's clothes into some cute outfits, cute tops, and I think that it was really interesting too because some of the things started off like very different from how they ended. Yes, for sure. Yes, definitely, especially with the shorts. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this was one of the hardest DIYs that we've had to do yes. because like the women's clothes already fit us, so we just like changed them up a little bit, mm -hmm. but these were huge and like we had to change them a lot. Very difficult to change them, but I think my favorite thing I made was definitely out of the men's shorts. It was just a cute little tank top. That was my favorite thing too, out of the men's shorts, my tube top that I made. I was pretty proud of it. No way. <laughs> and I thought that was gonna be the hardest one yet. It was. It was like the best one we've made. This was so much fun to get to make some new clothes out of men's clothes, and we wanna know what you guys think so please vote up in the polls who you think won this challenge and made the better clothes. JC or Casey. Also, if comments are still disabled here on YouTube, please go over to our Instagram at JC and Casey and let us know if you'd like to see more of these videos where we DIY clothes and if so, maybe give us some suggestions on what we should DIY next. Because it's a lot of fun. It is. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and please share with your family and your friends. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because we'd love for you to join our Beach Family. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. We love you so much. Bye! Bye.